This is Aviv and Jared from West Coast Shaving, and today we're going to talk to you about shaving while traveling. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think, Jared. Small. 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 We're going small when we do this travel shave video. Uh, if you have like a, a Chevy Tahoe or some other giant car, go big, right? Bring your your biggest, baddest gear with you. For everyone else, though, small. So we have here some small things. We have the small Parker Dop Kit. Mm. And this is an example of... Uh, Again, there are multiple bags, multiple kits uh, meant for for gear, uh, grooming gear. This happens to be one of the smaller ones uh, we carry at West Coast Shaving. And uh, we brought a range of products that will fit in this and maybe even smaller if you don't even go with a bag. Hmm. Uh, of course, no shave kit for traveling would be complete without a shave stick. So here today we have this bike. Is that how you pronounce it? I think so stick <laughs> we've also got uh, a dedicated travel kit from Carasso this thing is it is pretty cool um, many of these things are are like super cute if we were doing like a dollhouse or something mm. I feel like we can totally decorate the the grooming bathroom um, <laughs> to rival the we Scott apparently this is a Parasso bore brush in this little dedicated travel kit here. So we've got the boar brush. We've got a little bit of shave cream. More shave cream. Yeah. Oh, this is pre-shave. Sorry. Pre-shave. Shave. And not to be outdone, aftershave. All in this handy little dandy little box. You can even use this, I suppose, as your dop kit bag itself. Right. But where would you put your toothbrush? Mm -hmm. And then we have the Mercur travel safety razor which comes apart into three little pieces and one piece actually fits in the other piece and it all can go into this little pouch crazy and yeah so that's our kits our a few items that we have we're going to yeah. use them now check it out the one thing i think is also important to note is if you're flying mm -hmm and you want to bring your own safety razors, you really need to check it. I feel like um, it, it does vary. You hear stories of all different sorts of things. Uh, I only check the blades usually. Hmm. Uh, so I'll, I'll throw in a tuck of blades and stick in my check baggage or mail it ahead or something like that. Right. The others, as long as there's no blade in it, I've, I've had it uh, you know, inspected. But I haven't had it no, taken away. No, they won't take it away. Right. What a good thing that you might do is just like you do with liquids, take it out, put it in its own little bin. This way they don't have to search your entire backpack mm -hmm. or carry on. Right. They're just looking at this saying, oh, okay, it's fine. There's no right. blade. Um, these are very nifty. Yeah. So let's, let's use them. Yeah, so you're going to be using the synthetic brush. And in general, synthetic brushes are, are advantageous for travel. They dry quickly, uh, and so less likely to have issues with you know not wanting to use it so that you don't have to travel with a wet brush and have it get stinky, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, we're also going to show you, even though we have four as a possibility, I've been soaking the Simpsons Wee Scott. This is a, a special edition one, so it's a little more colorful. Um there we go. <laughs> I've been soaking this guy. So I'm going to use a badger brush, and you're going to use the, the stick, and I'll use the Parasso shaving cream. So with the stick, what you want to do is you want to apply it on your face against the grain mm -hmm. uh, so you can get some shave soap off the stick and onto your face. And we did something similar like this, to this with uh, with cream one time. Yeah, Basically, and I'm doing that right now. Oh, yeah. there you go. Against the grain. Can you guys tell we don't plan these? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to use the West Coast Shaving 24 millimeter synthetic. You guys can tell the difference in size. <laughs> Let's see what, what, <laughs> what turns out with the leather. <laughs> My hands are now all slippery. <laughs> okay, let's see if that helps. Okay. Oh wow! I think uh, the brush is eating some of the 
lather, you know? You know, it's a, a poor poor excuse for a shaver who blames the gear of you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Another thing that I've seen some people do is you can take uh, like a small, just some sort of like makeup container or one of our sample containers and you just scoop out a little mm -hmm. bit of the shave soap that you like and you put it in there and this way you're not taking the whole tub with you. You're just taking a little dollop of the tub and you can do the same thing. You can try to, well, the shave soap, it's hard to press it into your face, but a shave cream would work mm -hmm. nicely. That That's very nice. You have a much better lather than I do. I'm a little bit jealous. <laughs> I can't see what this looks like, but uh, it, as I've said in a, in a separate video we did on these tiny Simpsons, what a crazy amount of lather like these little guys can can put out. Yeah, really nutty. I feel that cooling menthol sensation. And uh, the aftershave is a bomb over yes. there, so this way you don't have yep. any trouble with alcohol in the flight. Yeah, or if you're driving, I don't know. Yeah, you don't want to drink it. Right. But in all other cases, knock yourself out. Um, yeah, I find that another... Okay, should we do something with your lather? Because, I mean, I feel like this is like a, a how not to, and that's not what we set out to do here. Let's get some more water in here. Let's figure, let's figure you out. Let's situate you. Okay, I'm going to do this side of my face. Okay. Uh, what was I going to say? If you're traveling somewhere by car, yes. you can just leave the blade inside the safety razor. But it's always important that if you leave the blade inside the safety razor, find a way to cover it. You don't want to reach into your bag or into your anything and cut your finger. Or even worse, if you have children, you don't want them to be exposed to that kind of stuff. You want to make sure to keep the blade secure and safe so that no one can cut them. So it's very easy to cut yourself with the safety razor. Better? A little bit. Yes, a little bit better. Mm. There we go. Much better. Yeah, now you got There you go. Yeah. There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Anything else you can think of while traveling? Uh, not really. I think, um, so the, the razor blades are a big problem. The razor blades can be a pain. Uh, so mail them or check them. Uh, soaps, if you're going to travel with a full size, uh, it's obviously a full size container is almost always over three ounces. So you're going to want to do what Aviv said, either break it down to a smaller unit, check it. Uh, if you want the full tub or just bring a different type of thing, which could be a shaving cream. Many containers are, are, are easily under three ounces for that. Uh, sticks, always great option. Um, not every brand makes a stick, but there are you know, probably a half dozen readily available versions uh, available. And this happens to be one of the more well-known, the Spike. Sorry. And then... Uh, one thing I was thinking of, if you're a morning shaver mm -hmm. and you like to load your soap and you, if you're going to check out and then you're going to cover your soap mm -hmm. and you're going to let it, like the water just sit there, it's also not a great choice. It's better to have something where you get either you shave at night, let it dry or find another vehicle for your lather. I like that. A lather vehicle. Hmm. <laughs> New idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, happy traveling. Have a great shave on the road. Yeah. And check us out next time. The Wee Scott strikes again. That was good. Yeah. <laughs>